So just jumping straight into the makeup tutorial, I'm going to be using the Benefit Boy Airbrush Concealer and I'm just going to be priming my eyelids with this in the shade number 3. Um, I'm just going to be sort of doing quite a basic eyeshadow look just because I don't think Jordi Girl goes too overboard with her eyeshadow. It tends to be a thick eyeliner with some beautiful lashes and either like a pink shade or a brown shade on the lid. So I'm just using that just to prime my lids and I'm blending that in with my beauty blender like so. Then I am going to be using the Too Faced Natural Love Eyeshadow Palette and I love this eyeshadow palette, I just think it's got such beautiful neutral shades and especially for a Jordi Kerr sort of inspired look, I just think it's perfect for this. So I am going to be sort of setting that concealer in with a shade Heaven from that Too Faced palette and just blending that right onto my crease of my eyelids as well as patting it on to my lids. <laughs> gonna go in with the shade Cutie Patutu. Patutu. Oh my god, I should have probably prepped this before I decided to do this voiceover um, with the pronunciation of certain words, but I am gonna be using that Cutie Patutu shade. I'm just gonna be packing that on my lid. So like I said, it's just gonna be such a basic sort of one eyeshadow shade kind of look just because I just don't think she goes overboard with it. And I just think this is such a pretty neutral shade with a bit of shimmer. And then I'm going to go in with my Spectrum Shading Brush and just blend the two colours together so there's just no sort of harsh edges around my crease. I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Liner. Um, I realised that trying to film a liner on camera was just definitely not working out for me. So basically I was just cut out everything and was just like, ta-da, here you go, here's the eye look. So basically what I did was just did a thick layer of liner and then just took some natural falsies on top. And now I'm going in with my Laura Mercier primer. This is the hydrating primer. I did use this in my first video as well. I'm just blending that bad boy into my face like so. So onto base, I'm using the Water Blend Makeup Forever Foundation in the shade Y415. Oh my god, it basically is what it says in the bottle. It is literally a water blend foundation. It's literally so dewy and it's just so blendable and so lightweight. And if anyone is like me and doesn't tend to buy foundations, I will highly recommend you buy this. If you're looking for something just to sort of even your skin tone all round, I honestly am in love. And I am just blending it just like so. I think I'm obsessed with the word like so now. I just keep saying it, but yeah. <laughs> So now on to contour, just to sort of brown in the face up, I am using the Huda Beauty Tan Tour in the shade Tan. I do think I might have got a way too dark shade for me, but because it's so blendable, once you see me blend it, you'll realise, actually, the shade's not too bad. But um, I honestly love the sort of consistency of this product. I think it just blends so seamlessly into the skin, and I'm so obsessed. And I decided to do this step first because I'm not sort of going for any sort of harsh contour and harsh highlight sort of um, routine in this one. Just because I think Jordica just kind of has quite a simple base. Her focus is mainly that thick liner with the cute lashes and the contacts. I don't actually know if her eye colour is actually that eye colour or she's wearing contacts. But obviously, unfortunately, I wasn't blessed with beautiful light brown eyes. So I had to compromise with contacts. So on to concealer, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer in the shade 8 and I'm just literally applying that just to my under eyes and I'm using the excess product on my forehead as well as on my chin and just blending that out with my beauty blender. Then I'm going to go back in with the Huda Beauty Tantal Contour Shade. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a little hard one to say. Also, I've realised I'm talking ever so slowly in these videos. It's so weird because in real life I actually talk super fast. But um, it's kind of nice to know that I can actually speak slow. But yeah, I'm just applying that onto my nose just to contour my nose and make that bad boy look smaller. Um, it's got nothing to do with Jordi because look, I just like a smaller nose to be fair. So you could probably skip the step. I am going to go and blend that in with my Spectrum brush as well as using my beauty blender just to get away from those harsh edges as well. I am then going to go in with my Fenty Beauty concealer just to highlight the bridge of my nose. I 
am then going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in the shade Medium and use my Spectrum brush just to distribute that product evenly onto my face and set all the products that we have used on my face. I am then going to go in with my Laura Mercier Brightening Powder and set my under eyes with this powder. I like this powder for my under eyes just because I think it just brightens the eye quite naturally. Um, as well as setting it, so it's a win-win. And finally, I'm just going to add a little bit of blush, so I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio, and I'm using that orangey shade just on my apples on my cheeks, as well as a little bit on my nose. And that is the final look all completed. So time to change into Jordi Garnell. Exciting! So here is the final look. I hope you boos have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, don't hate if I don't look exactly like her, I don't have bushy, beautiful, light brown hair like Jordi does, but you get the gist of it, it's basically sort of the sort of eye look that she goes for in that sort of era when Cushy came out, so there's that. So anyway, enjoy these montages of me, I've attached a few photos of Jordi sort of to show you where I got the look from, and did a few hairstyles because why not, but yeah, anyway, I hope you boos enjoyed my video, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, and see you in my next video, bye! Thank <laughs> you.